gonna go ahead and use our 19 millimeter socket and remove these lug nuts. Once the lug nuts are removed, go ahead and remove the wheel, set it aside. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect our ABS wire. I'm gonna slide this out of the harness. 10 millimeter socket to remove this bolt right here. Once that's removed, we're gonna go ahead and come down to the clip down below. Pop the sensor off, and then we're gonna disconnect it. Lift up on this little tab. Pull the harness off, set this aside. We're gonna remove our 24 millimeter nuts off of the strut bolts here. These bolts are splined into the knuckle, so we're gonna go ahead and use a hammer, hit the end here, and pop those bolts out. On this side, we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter bolt holding our brake line in place. Now on the top of the strut underneath the hood, we're gonna have three 15 millimeter bolts. We're gonna start with the back one here. I'm gonna use a ratchet wrench or gear wrench to get into this one. Now I wanna be prepared once we remove this here, the complete strut will be loose. So we wanna watch on the outside and keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't fall out onto you. Looks like our strut is staying stable. Let's go ahead back and get that from the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a bungee cord. I'm gonna hook it on the sway bar, come over the knuckle, stretch us over, and I'm just gonna hook the end of it into the brake rotor vents itself. That way when we disconnect the strut, we don't have to worry about causing any issues with the CV axle coming too far out or separating or anything like that. The strut itself is now loose. I'm gonna go ahead and use a small pry bar to separate the strut from the knuckle, and then we'll go ahead and lower that out. Take our new strut, feed it up. do is line up the strut with the knuckle and try and get at least one bolt lined up. Once we get one bolt lined up, should be able to maneuver the strut, get that bottom one lined up. Go ahead and install our three bolts on the top of the strut. And you're probably gonna have to reach into the fender well. Might have to maneuver the strut around in place a little bit. We're able to get all three of our bolts in. Now for any reason, if you can't get your bolts in right away and they're not lining up, you can go ahead and use a jack, put it underneath the uh, control arm and raise the strut up into place. I'm gonna go ahead and snug these bolts down. Remove our support strap. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install our strut nuts. And we're gonna go ahead and snug those down. I'm gonna have to torque these down to 108 foot pounds. Repeat for the bottom. Let's install our brake line bracket. Just gonna get that bolt started. And we'll come on to the other side. Go 
get this bolt started for our ABS wire. Once that's started, we'll go ahead and snug those down. Now I'll press the sensor up into the bracket. I'm going to come around to the connector itself. Install our connector. Install the harness retainer. I'm going to go ahead and torque these upper three bolts to 44 foot pounds. Do this for all three. Let's go ahead and install our wheel. Get our lug nut started here. Now that we have our lug nuts installed, let's go ahead and snug them all down. Let's go ahead and torque the wheels down to 103 foot-pounds. <laughs> 